Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. Uh, we have food and food and fuel. There we go, food and fuel. <laughs> so we are going to go and try and find the verdant fragment that's in a some gardeny place. I was paying attention. What was it called? Oh no. Oh no. Where, where was it? Officers? Oh, never mind. Something hot spot or something. We'll find it. It's just south of the Clockwork Sun, I think. I'm hoping my terror holds out and we don't end up going absolutely crazy. Which is distinctly possible. Or we don't run into anything that's going to try and kill us again. Because that wasn't fun. Where are we going to go? Oh no, my zoomy thing's broke. That's annoying. I think it's down here. I think it's going to be right on the edge. So that's where we're going to go. Just hope nothing terrible happens. We'll be... Didn't that get to four? No, it didn't. Did it? I can't remember. Oh, but it's only been like four days and just all of it's gone. My memory for this game is completely gone. Doing too much other stuff that's not important. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping we don't run into any... Pirates. Pirates? Marauders, there we go, that's the word they use. Like that guy right there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Wait, is he a non-hostile reach marauder? Oh no. I mean, it went terribly, but yeah. Luckily, this this ship is ridiculously powerful in this area. What was I saying? Was I saying anything important? I don't think I was. In the next two days, it's going to be an update. So that's going to be for me Thursday. No, Wednesday. Ah, I might be recording it on the day that the update comes out, but it's usually after I've done my recording because I do it quite early in the morning. So probably won't see it till the week next week. But next week they're changing the reach. So Oh my god, these arrows are using them. But this area is gonna change a lot. I'm incredibly interested in. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. We're gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> We might as well go through the bit we haven't explored. Never know, I might find something interesting. Or oh, we'll just get eaten by something, but I think it'll be okay. Hmm. Here is a damn bat. Oh, I remember. Damn it, I need to equip the Quartermaster. Uh, keep forgetting. Damn it! I should have done that at the port. A waste of glass shards, gleaming with light. A thousand pins of sunlight pricking in your eyes. Oh dear! Well, we managed to get here with relatively low terror, and we still have quite a lot of fuel and stuff, so I think we'll be okay. Can't hit the mute. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't reach the mute button. I don't even know if that comes through the microphone, but you never know. My microphone is elevated, so it shouldn't really be touching the desk, but every now and again it picks up things that it shouldn't. I don't know why I shot that rock. Okay, so if we go right to the edge and then just scour along the side, we'll see if we can find it. Oh, Pauper's Coffin. Pauper's Coffins. Boxy shapes tumble in the sky. Pauper's Coffin. Uh, let's reduce the terror because we're out here. 
Wow. We just lose some terror, we lost all the terror. We need to sane for that. Yeah, we don't have a sane device because I still haven't got around to actually buying it yet. If I send out the bat now, I wonder if it'll find anything. Let's have a look. I tend not to rely on the bat very much, but. This is, um, very black. Te terrifyingly black. Ah, lost drop deep. There we go, this is the place I'm looking for. Wonderful. I was told I'd know it when I saw it. I didn't, this wasn't quite what I had in mind. Just pitch black. Is this it? That just looks like a homestead. There! That old building! That's where the Verdant Fragment is hiding. Okay. A vine-knotted structure. Whatever this place was intended to be, its inhabitants are long gone. The entire building seethes with, seethes with overgrown vines, burrowed deep into the foundations and climbing high enough to smother the roof in an inescapable embrace. The driver is drawn to something deep in the structure. Impossible. Quest? The driver follows a trail of fungal vines deep into the bowels of the building, stopping at the bulbous mass that takes up much of what was originally the cellar. They approach it, letting its thorns rise up, wrap around them, draw blood. I'm here to take you home, the driver tells it. Though it seems unlikely the verdant fragment has any interest in something as simplistic as human speech, the driver winces as it digs its thorns deeper. When it finally lets go, the driver looks miserable. He won't come with us. They force out, wincing at the sting of fle fresh iodine on their wounds. It prizes its freedom too much to give up, and just become part of its... primogenitor? I don't know what to do. Oh man, that seems like a real bad idea. Uh, threaten it? Oh, that's a shame. Didn't bring any gun. I, I banked all of my bullets. <laughs> Can we attempt to communicate with it? The Verdant Fragment pulses slowly, showing no interest in your attempt to communicate. Well, then we're going to have to offer ourselves a host. Oh, God damn it! You will take it back, but part of it will always live inside you. It will take something too. Ow! That's really bad. Yeah. Okay. The vines shift from the driver's arms to your own flesh, digging in for the verdant fragment to taste your blood and get your measure. It appears to find it acceptable. The main mass of growth erupts into a single large flower that sprays spores into your face and withers away. As you help the driver cut the central mass free, something in the back of your head whispers to you in the language of flowers and butterflies. Look for the traces. Then fragments, consciousness is gone, only evidence of plant life remaining are a few vines that are barely clinging to rotten wooden supports already declaring. Okay, so, um... Do I talk to the driver now? That seems like a... That seems like a good idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Check on the driver. Sweat beads on the driver's brow. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. The voices are so loud. They want to fly. I want to fly. If I don't get the verdant to the nature, <laughs> the fragment to the nature reserve soon, I think I might finally lose myself. Okay, so we have to go back to the to the nature reserve, I suppose. Uh, which requires me to go through the gate. But I can't remember. Oh, there it is. I couldn't remember where the gate was then. Right, we'll stop off at London anyway because. Uh, did I stop in at like the Surreal Mausoleum? See if there's any bargains or anything? I mean, it's just there. Every time I've ever said that, it never ends well, but yeah, we'll try it. It seems like a, is this a good angle. 
Yeah, that's a good angle. We'll work with it. Hopefully the uh, the dying sun doesn't, like, you know, error me out or anything. I kind of expected there to be more uh, talking with the Verdant Fragment, rather than just being like, here, take me! A crew begins singing around about the seaside. Does this not count as mutiny? Oh no, we must have got close to a warbly juxtam there. I would like to find the giant fluke. It's in the, uh, in the and I quote, sea. It doesn't really look like the sea. Just mist. I guess that's the closest you get in um, not space. Apparently this isn't space. I've been calling this space a lot. But apparently it's not space. Like a pocket of reality or something, I don't know. They don't like to make things simple, do they? Oh my god. Somebody's really trying to get my attention right now. Ignore it. Yow! Damn it. Smashed into the bleeding. Asteroids. I'd like to uncover all of the map at some point. I feel that might be quite the endeavour. Sky is prickled with grave monuments, mourning angels, leaning crosses, broken Old Testament pillars, deathly effigies, wrought in chipped marble. That's how we know we're getting close to the... Serene Mausoleum. I think there's more to do in the Serene Mausoleum as well. Because I haven't actually spent that much time there, all things considered. And here we are. Right. Quickly dock and... Oh, no, no, no. Let's not piss off those guys. I think those guys are horrendously powerful. I just get the feeling from the whole golden glowy thing. It tends to mean things are powerful. How did, how did you get into this damn place? Come on. Is it through here? Yes, it is. Wait. See if there's anything here. It anyway, meant to be a quick stop off. Kind of took a lot longer than anticipated. Uh, uh, a sale of ministry, ministry approved poetry. I don't. I actually there's a there's a thing for that. Prospect. I'm just gonna. For the sake of argument. Alright, let's go. The Avid Horizon. I could go from London, Avid Horizon, and then back. I could totally do that. Make some money. Not that we really need the money, but I figure we may as well while we're here. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. Just fly straight into the terror. Yeah, good job. I don't quite understand what's so terrifying about that site. I mean, everyone else seems to be living quite fine. Oh boy, that's really going up quite quick. That's fine. Very coolly done, like the um, little image. Looks 3D. Very cool. Well, I'm just going to speed this up. For the sake of driving everyone mad. With my rambling. Totally didn't crash back there. You didn't see that at all. <laughs> well, we made it. Right. Let's quickly pick up the. Oh, 
In mind, it's changed. What a shame. Well, I should pick these things up before I uh, bank these. Then we'll be ready. We'll be ready. Gemstones or crockery? Do I have crockery in my bank? Oh. I just have lots of bullets. Strange. Uh, da, 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 da. Need more fuel. Number one. Alright, let's go. Two. Please don't smash into the station. Freedom! Let's go back to the reach. I can't remember what you need to get back to the reach. Whatever it is, I probably don't have it, so I'm going to end up paying the exorbitant fee of sovereigns. I'll speed this bit up too. Ooh, free stuff. Uh... Yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, we're at the relay. Let's see what we need. I've got an empty hull, oh, 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 empty cargo. What the? Collect a telegram for the incautious driver. Okay, let's see. The driver reads the telegram without expression. They show it to you without saying a word. Come home, stop your father, stop funeral, stop new Winchester, stop drive, safe stop. What? <laughs> Does that make any sense? He was ill for a long time, the driver finally manages. I need to pay my respects. I guess he's died. One way of doing it. Uh, we have ministry stamp permits. How much time does it cost? 200, we're just going to pay the 200. Ah, gain terror. Damn it, you'd have thought paying 200 sovereigns would make it so great and so terrifying. But now's the question, do I go back to New Winchester to talk to his family, or do I go to the nature reserve? Let's go to New Winchester first, let's see if we can do some more of the driver storyline of things I don't... I wasn't even expecting, I thought we were just going to do it. Oh, an engineer cries out. Eh, damn it. Yes, we know the stars are dying. People are killing them. I think. Not sure. Maybe? Just as I start to think I'm understanding the storyline of this game, it throws me curveballs. Though I don't really know. Right, two. New Winchester. Winchester. I swear that feels like a longer ride every single time I do it. <laughs> right. Where would we speak? I guess it's New Winchester, right? There we go. Escort the incautious driver home. 
The stained rod mansion is draped in mourning black. The lady of the house stiffly greets her guests, nodding at every whispered word of condolence. The incautious driver's mother greets you both at the gate, her tone chillier than lustrum frost. I I still haven't been. The... Roger... <sighs> Prodigal returns then, somewhat late, but I suppose better late than never. Your father would have been pleased to see the effort. Well, you had better come in. The funeral party gathers on the main lawn behind the house, sipping wine and eating delicate sandwiches without crusts. Look for the incautious driver, they slipped away into the house, up to the old playroom. Memories of childhood. You find the driver in a dusty old playroom. A portrait hangs on the wall, showing a younger boy and his younger sibling. My older brother and I, the driver confides. We aren't close. He was outdoorsy while I spent most of my time in here. I almost died of a sky sickness as a baby. It took a long time to recover, and I was very frail. Mother and father thought it was best I stay indoors. I don't mind. The world outside sounded terrible, full of monsters and diseases and accidents. I was happier with my toy trains, and my window garden, and my books. I say, let's uh, attend the funeral on the lawn. A bell rings, it's time for the ceremony. The ceremony is solemn. Members of the family take turns to lay flowers on the coffin and say a few words. The driver places a flower but says nothing. You find them later in the shadow of a rose bush, brought all the way from old London. It was father who said I should leave, you know. Their voice is quiet. I had the work after all, and he knew I liked botany. He arranged a position for me at the nature reserve, and booked passage on a reputable engine. First time I'd left New Winchester. Uh, okay, what are my options here? Pick a rose as a tear and draws on, it's all good, may spare their feelings, if your attention is elsewhere. That's not very nice. Yes, lay your hand on the driver's so shoulder. The awkwardness of the moment should keep you from offering comfort. Not keep you. We crashed within sight of our destination. When I stumbled into port, I wasn't afraid of anything anymore. I thought I'd found my courage in the wilds, but it was the verdant, wasn't it? It colonized me and took away my fear. The driver looks at the house, to the dark window of the playroom. When it's done with me, which version of myself will remain? They frown. Can we go now? Oh. I mean, that's a valid concern, I suppose, that the... The fragment is what made them become who they are, and then as soon as it's gone, they turn back into what they used to be. Well, I don't, that's not how it works, is it? I mean, if you're still going to remember all of the things that you did. And like, like, maybe you just feel differently about them. I don't know. Let's repair my brain. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I was never very good with social situations anyway. So this is not my, not my speciality. <laughs> right. Uh, let me have a quick look at the bazaars. Seeds for Port Avon, as always. Barrels of unseasoned hours. Do I have time to go down to the nature reserve? It's quite far, but uh, this is one of those awkward moments where I know there's loads of parts that I need to speed up, but I've been recording for half an hour, which means it's going to be less than half an hour, which means you might end up with a video that's like 20 minutes. You know what, I'm going to do that. Save me reading through things very quickly and trying to get stuff wrapped up. Uh, next episode we're going to go down to the nature reserve and we're going to finish the incautious driver storyline well hopefully finish i mean it's possible there's more that will be fine either way we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do that next episode as always thank you for watching uh, like subscribe let me know what you think anything is appreciated check out my other videos i've been playing a few other games recently and if you if you like this you might like them and uh yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.